Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute embroidered towel that would be perfect for gift giving. There's all kinds of ones of these kind of embossed tiles, towel designs that you can get on from Designs by Juju. And really, honestly, they're on sale right now until tomorrow night, which is August 3rd, Eastern Standard Time, midnight. Okay, and this is 8-2-2021. Um, anyway, they're on sale at a fabulous price right now. So I, if you like to do this kind of thing, run over there and grab them because you'll really like these. There's Christmas tree ones. There's all kind of ones that you could use. But I'm going to use this same design that I've done before because I really like it. So in addition to using your towel, which I'm just going to use this washcloth so it'll be quicker, right? You need thread. And the thread that I'm going to use is this color right here. What I'm doing is I'm matching my thread to the color of my towel because I just want this to be kind of not an in-your-face design, but kind of, you know, just a, a hint of the design. You'll see what I mean. So I also have a bobbin that I've wound with this same thread so it matches, and I'll put that in my machine in a bit. I'm going to use a 4x4 four four hoop because I don't want to make a very large design because obviously this is a small washcloth that I'm just doing this on for a sample for you. The other thing that you'll need is you'll need wash away or wet and gone or water soluble stabilizer. This brand here is from Floriani, but I'm not going to be using this one because it truly is wet and gone. Look at those holes. I accidentally laid this roll on something that was wet so all throughout this roll, there are holes from where it got washed away. So I'm not going to use this one right now, but I will be able to use this for something else. So instead, I'm going to use this OESD brand, and it's an embroidery stabilizer, Aqua Mesh Wash Away. And that's this right here. And I'll be putting that in my hoop in just a second. But let's look up at my computer screen for a minute and I'll show you where I got the design. So again, here's where I got the design. I'm not affiliated with Designs by Juju. I just like their things. And this is when I purchased it. But if we go here right now, or maybe we go to Embroidery Design, let's see, in the hoop. Here we go, Alphabets Embossed. And you'll see there's one with wreaths on it, all different styles. The one, and I love this one with the pumpkin. The one I got is on the second page, and it's this one right here. And notice it says, right, usually it's $20. Right now it's on sale for 6 However, if you spend $20 on one, um, in one order, you'll get each one of those things for a dollar. Okay, so you'll need to look at the details, but the sale ends, like I said, on August 3rd, 2021 at 1159 Eastern Daylight Time. So this is the one I got and I downloaded it and then I'm going to, here it is down here and I had to unzip it. So I unzipped it and then I opened it in my Embrilliance software. You don't need to, you could just save this right to your thumb drive and take it to your machine. But I really like using this software. Uh, I like seeing how things stitch out, if I need to change anything because I want to add something. So right now, if you'll notice, this hoop looks really big for the item I have in here. To change this hoop size, because I'm going to use the 4x4 hoop, I simply come up here and change it to my 4x4 hoop, which is this one, and say Apply and OK. And that's the way it's going to look in the hoop, and it's going to fit perfectly. And you can see over here, it shows you the different steps that there will be, right? 
I'm going to make my thread all the same color so I it will stop for me to change colors but I'm not going to but let's watch the way it's going to stitch it out now by coming up here I have this button depressed because that's the stitch simulator and I'll make this go fast and we can just watch it like this for a moment so that's what it's going to do in that order and almost done just the fanciness around the edges Okay, and that's it. Okay, I'm ready to begin hooping. Again, I have my aqua mesh wash away, which I'm going to put in my hoop first. Then I have this stuff that's sort of like really flimsy, filmy. This goes on top. This is called a topper, and this is going to keep my stitches from getting embedded too far into the uh, fabric or into the terry cloth. Okay, so those are those two things. I also went ahead and got some new pins that I have. I use these for my long arm machine, but I'm going to use them today. It's something I've never done before, but I've seen people doing it, so I thought I'd give it a try. I've also saved my file here on my USB drive. So let's get to hooping. So I have my hoop right here. First thing I'm going to do is hoop, like I said, this water-soluble stabilizer. So just kind of measure this on here and cut. Okay. And I'm just going to hoop this. So let's see. It shouldn't have to be hooped very much. I mean, I shouldn't have to loosen this much at all. So about like that, maybe. I'm going to hoop this in here like this. And remember, I have the red dot here, so I know this goes at the top, and this goes down like that. Press these down to kind of lower them a little bit, the top one. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then this is what I've seen people do with pins. They use T-pins, but they said you can use any kind of pin. And I've never done this before, but I'll see, see what happens <laughs> if it's worthwhile. Okay. It's supposed to just hold the mesh in place a little bit better than nothing. Be good. And one more on this side. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead now and find my design on here. Hopefully you can see this a little bit. I think you can. Maybe can go back up a little bit higher like that and scroll you in just a little bit more there we go okay so I've got my USB drive in there as I said now I'm going to click on this little button right here it says retrieving wait a moment then I'm going to use this little arrow right here to go over until I see my design that I'm going to do today and some of these designs are old and I can delete them off of here easily some of these if you see what I'm doing you may recognize some of these from before it's probably one of the last ones oh there it is right there so I'll hit it then I've got to hit this little up arrow okay and I've my already spread my machine. spray and I have this link down below for you either sulky kk2000 but i'm going to use the sulky kk2000 and do it away from my machine here okay and then that's going to allow me to take this towel and place it on here now i want to have my design centered i'm just kind of pressing down you can't see it but i'm just kind of pressing down on my towel so I can kind of put this in the center and this is where I run into trouble when I'm doing things because I should measure stuff and I usually just kind of wing it and then I'm not always the happiest little camper so you should probably measure it or use your little you know thing that comes inside of here 
uh, the little plastic piece, but I'm just going to wing it like this and see how this is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up in here. And come over here and put that in. Okay. And now the first thing it's going to do is this. Just if we look back up at my computer screen, you can see again the first thing that it's going to do. If we start way back here with our stitch simulator, first thing it's going to do, it's just going to run around all over and put those in what's called like a knockdown stitch. Okay, it's going to all around like that. Okay, so let's go back here. And I'll go ahead and put my presser foot down and press go. Guess what? I forgot something. Do you know what I forgot? My topper. So I'm going to cut that thread. I'm going to take this back out of here because I really want to put the topper on there because it'll make a difference. So we learned this the other day, and this is a good opportunity for me to show you this again. If you make a mistake like I just did, and you want to start all over again, just hit the adjust button right here. And it's going to say, what do you want to adjust, the layout or the stitch number? And I'm doing the stitches. Whoops. And I'm doing this, the stitches. And I'm going to go back one spool or one step. So it's going to start all over at the beginning. And now I'm going to do, like I said I was going to do, is to put this topper on here next. Just cut off a piece. Okay, and this will not be hooped in. This just lays on top, hence the name topper. And if I wanted to right now, I could put a couple little pieces of tape to hold it in place temporarily, but it should just stay in place pretty well. I'm just using a little bit of scotch tape. All right, so now I'll stick this back in here. And put it back in. Okay. Make sure my topper is nice and flattened out. Nothing's underneath. And it's ready to start again. So I'll put down my presser foot and go. And if you want to, you can hold your topper down a little bit. You don't really have to. Okay, the reason why I stopped that was because I have the tail from starting this. And I think right now I'll just get rid of it so it's not keep so it doesn't keep getting stitched over. There we go. And start again. Okay. And see how it's stitching right through the topper. And I'll let that stitch a little bit, and then I'll come back. Okay, that part has finished, so I'm going to bring this out of the hoop so I can show you what's been done. You'll already be able to say, see how nice it's becoming. Hopefully you can see. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love it. All right, so let's uh, put this back in here, and let's look up at my computer screen again and I'll show you where we are so here's our design and what we've done is we've done the first color which is this green notice it went like this all the way through and up like that and now it's going to do the next step which is do you see what it's doing it's doing a stitch around the sea and then a satin stitch around the sea and then after that, it's going to do a, just a regular stitch, a running stitch around the outside edge, and then the satin stitch. So after this is all done, I'll be back to meet you. Okay, that part is finished, and look how beautiful this looks. Isn't that cool? I just love it. And wait till you see it after I take the topper off. So I'm going to go ahead and thread this back in here. 
making sure nothing's caught. Okay, and put this back. All right, so it's ready for the next step. And if you look up here, you'll see the next step that we're going to do, and it's actually the final step. It's this yellow part, and it's going to do all of this little fancy scroll work around the sides. And as I said, I'm doing mine in just one color because I think I like the way that that looks. It's sort of like a, I can't think of the word, and not, not an in your face. It's kind of a, oh, subtle. The, the word, word is subtle. It's going to be a subtle look right here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my presser foot down, and I'll begin to do this last part. Okay, it says it's all finished, so I'm ready to bring it out, and let's look at the final project. I think it turned out beautifully. You can see it pretty well. And now it's time for me to take off this topper. And get rid of any of these extra stitches. This topper I may save to use for the same way I've used this. And then I'm just going to trim this with my little scissors. Here they are. Just close to get it off here first. Remember, this is the water soluble, so I'm going to use water to get rid of it. Oh, you couldn't really see what I was doing, could you? Sorry. I'm just cutting this off of the hoop, being careful not to cut the towel. There we go. And let's put you down here a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So here is the finished towel, and I think it's beautiful. So let's get a few more little stitches i got to get rid of. All right. So now I can get rid of this little bit of topper that's in the letter C. As you can see, and that just allows that stuff to just pop up beautifully. I love it. it. just looks so cool. I'm going to bring over my little cup of water that I have here. Being careful not to get it on any of my other water soluble pieces. And I'm just going to dab this on here. And actually I could do it back here as well. And I could cut this a little closer to make it easier so I won't have as much to get rid of. So I'm just going to continue on getting rid of this, the water-soluble stabilizer, and then I'll meet you back. Okay, this is the finished towel. Imagine it's a large towel. It's still damp for me getting all the stuff out of it. I think this is super cute. Um, I'm not sure which kind I like better, the tone on tone. And of course, this is just like a, a Dollar Tree towel. So probably better towels work a little nicer, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Right? Look at that.